Hey guys, my name is Tyler. I'm with the Nevada Fire Department. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about fire extinguishers and putting out a fire if you have one. So if you do have a fire, you need to go ahead and call 911 or if you have a um, fire alarm system, then you need to go ahead and you know pull, do your pull station, something like that. Um, you need to let everybody know what's going on. You know, by hitting the fire alarm, that's going to let everybody in the building know that, hey, there's a fire, there's a problem. People can start taking the precautionary measures that they need to do. Um, if there's people that need help getting out, whether it's in your house, in your business, um, or a nursing home, hospital, something like that, people that need help getting out, people can actually, you know, come make sure these people are getting taken care of. And it gets the fire department there faster to put the fire out. Um, if you decide that you want to try and put the fire out, you need to know what kind of fire you have. Um, it, whether it's a trash can or some wood, some paper, something like that, then that's Class A fire. You need an extinguisher that's going to at least put out a Class A fire. If you've got a Class B, you know, a flammable liquid at a gas station or something, um, you're going to need a Class B extinguisher to put that Class B fire out. Um, if you're in a kitchen, you need a Class K extinguisher. Um, an ABC would work, but a Class K is, you know, what you want for a kitchen fire. Um, if you have a Class C fire, you know, some energized equipment, say it's in your kitchen, you got a microwave on fire or your TV's on fire, then a Class C extinguisher is going to cover that. Something that you, you can do with a Class C fire is if you can safely unplug it, then that's going to turn that into a Class A fire. But that's only if you can safely unplug it. Um, if you can't, then don't worry about it. So today I got here a ABC extinguisher. All extinguishers will say whether it's an A, B, C, D, or K, anything like that. And they're generally going to have a picture to tell you or help you with what fire that might put out. So again, you have your Class A. Um, there's plastics, papers, woods, you know, your, your ordinary combustibles. Class B, your gasolines, diesels, things like that. And then you got your Class C on this one, which is your energized electric. So this AB, ABC extinguisher will put out any of those three. So whenever you decide that you're going to fight some fire with a fire extinguisher, um, trying to get a good idea of how big the fire is if you can, whether it's the size of a trash can in your office or at home, or is it the size of a rollaway dumpster out back behind the business. Um, that big dumpster you may not be able to put out with a small extinguisher. Whenever you decide to put out the fire, you need to check the overall condition of the fire extinguisher Fire extinguisher you're going to use. You want to make sure there's nothing to, in the tip where your powders are going to come out. You know, you want to make sure this isn't dry rotted and going to crack in half when you pull it out. Make sure the bottom's not rusted out, you know, it's not all dented and banged up real bad. Something to always check for is your handle. Make sure your handle's in good working order and that it's not going to be smashed like if somebody dropped it because you're going to have to be able to squeeze this to get the powder to come out. Um, if you have a tag like this one, you're just going to break this off. And then your pin, you want to hold the bottom down here so you're not smashing the pin to where you can pull it out. And then best thing to do is stay six to eight feet, you know, ten feet away from the fire. You're going to, after you've pulled your pin, we're going to use the acronym, we're actually going to use the acronym uh, pass. So you're going to pull your pin, you're going to aim at the base of the fire, you're going to squeeze your handle, and then you're going to sweep at the base of the fire, just side to side, side to side, until either the fire goes out or your extinguisher runs out. Now if your fire extinguisher runs out, then you need to make sure that you can take that extinguisher with you, don't just drop it on the ground, because then somebody might come along and pick it up and it's a dead, it's not going to work. And something else that if you can, make sure that when you take your extinguisher with you, if you can, shut a door. Try to confine that fire to that room. And if you do decide to fight fire, just make sure that you keep the exit behind you. Don't let the fire be between you and the exit. All right? Thanks, guys.